Good evening. Uh, this might be a little repeat for some of you that were already here, but um, first of all, I want to thank the girls and everyone who came out supporting girls. Good job tonight. Um, the boys will be next. Just a couple of things. The seating capacity, we talked about this earlier, will be we will sell 70 seats to the home team for us. So whether it's a boys game or a girls game, you get 70 tickets sold to our home fans. There will be 30 sold to the visitors. Now I cannot tell you what the visitor games will look like because each team is set by the county rules and then they'll make their decision based on the capacity of their, their gym. So uh, we got two schools in large sky, so there's a little bit of a, a shift on that. The main thing, we had a really good fall with our compliance reports that we got back. So we're hoping that things move forward positively with the, the basketball season. And I just wanted to remind you, we will be doing a little bit of a different uh, seating arrangement. Uh, you guys are doing a good job, but really it's, we'll have dots put down. We'll be allowed four dots. Um, as you can see, our front section is pretty well full. We have a couple spots down the bottom, but really we only use the first row of bleachers that we skip to, we use the second, and skip to the, the next one. So there are some disadvantages. It's going to be tough getting a lot of people in the games, and I know there's some disappointing people. But on a positive note, the white box that you see on the rail behind it, behind the first section, will be videoing live the basketball games this year. We're hoping to have some play-by-play -play on certain nights, um, but that's an option that a lot of you will be able to log in, watch the games for free, and it, it's actually a pretty good system and it does a good job watching the ball. And it's kind of scary, you know, we're in that spot with computers are basically telling us what we're doing all the time. So, thank you again for coming out tonight. Uh, my OCD's kind of crazy with this head man. So, I'm going to turn it over to Coach. <laughs> Alright, good evening everybody. Thank you for coming out tonight. Uh, can everybody hear me good? So, on December the 11th, here, New Boston is going to hear us too. Okay, so, we are going to get after it. We're going to play hard, leave everything we got on the floor. So make sure that the tickets that are available, that we fill as much capacity as we can. It's kind of sad that the world we're living in right now, that we're not going to be able to pack the gym like we used to. I remember the old guys who were standing around the gym down here. Um, unfortunately, like I said, that's probably not going to happen, but as many people we get in here, we need to. I don't thank anybody from the Board of Education here tonight. Um, so I'm sure not here. But I would like to take this opportunity to thank Mr. McCorkle for recommending me to the board to be able to coach this group of boys. Um, you parents, you've got a really, really good group of kids here. And the opportunity that I have to be able to teach them a game of basketball is just what I love to do. You know, hopefully it shows here just a little bit the work that we put in. We started July the 6th. And when I say we started, we got out. We started conditioning. Part of that conditioning program was really torture. These kids average, the ones that wasn't playing football, average 12 miles a week of sprint work. It wasn't just running and sprint work. A lot of those mileage was on heels, treadmills, the school, and actually several of these kids got their mile times down under seven minutes. Okay, so I'm really proud of the effort that they put in. And, you know, their hard work, their dedication, hopefully will show. Um, just a couple things, you know, when I went through the interview with Mr. 
Principal Corkle, he asked me some questions, quite a bit of questions, three pages of questions. I think there was 21 of them he took. And he said, what do you want to do to change the program down here? And I said, we're going to start with this one right off the bat. And you parents have probably seen the code of conduct that I put out. And those kids are going to be held to that code of conduct. They know that if they don't, there's consequences. Some of those consequences could be bad if they're on home. But, you know, a program, a discipline program, is a program that produces winners. And these kids right here are going to be winners. Uh, I feel that. So, uh, I thank you guys for being able to come out, the fans. If it wasn't for you guys, the fans, rooting these kids on. Uh, they wouldn't have much to work for, so I appreciate you guys. And like I said, uh, we've got a really good group of kids here, and I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to get going, and we are really excited to start putting those basketballs back out there in that trophy case. So that's what it's about. So I'm going to introduce what we I call these warriors. Okay, Wiley Sanders.